now in this lesson we're going to do our first calculation using one of the wave equations and the wave equation we're going to use we're going to figure this out because we're going to analyze this question and see what the information is that we have in the question and the question says what is the velocity of a wave that has a wavelength of 1.4 meters and a frequency of 240 hertz so if we label what we have in the question we can maybe figure out what equation we're going to use what is the velocity of a wave that has a wavelength of 1.4 meters so we're given the wavelength that's lambda we have the wavelength and a frequency of 240 Hertz so that's F the frequency we're given the frequency and we're looking for the velocity it says what is the velocity so we're looking for V that's the big question and the wave equation that includes velocity wavelength and frequency is this equation velocity of any given wave is equal to its frequency times its wavelength so let's go ahead and plug some numbers in here the velocity is equal to the frequency which is 240 Hertz times the wavelength and the wavelength that's given is 1.4 meters and so when we multiply this out we wind up with 336 336 meters per second and you might ask how do I get this unit meters per second well let's keep this in mind this unit Hertz Hertz is really expressed as 1 over s it's actually the inverse of the period the time of the wave you can also think of this as an event per second or wave per second well a wave is not a unit so 1 over s and we're multiplying that by meters well here's the meter it's actually a meter over 1 so when you multiply this out you get meters per second and there's your unit that's why we wind up with that unit in the answer meters per second so the answer to this question is 336 meters per second and I can look at this and I can think you know that's just about the velocity of sound so this probably this wave is a sound wave all right we might as well go ahead and tackle another wave problem and this question says what is the frequency of a wave that has a wavelength of 0 0.80 meters so we're given the wavelength that's lambda and a velocity of 336 meters per second so we're given the velocity and it says what is the frequency so we're looking for F the frequency so we have to have an equation that says F equals something and if you look at the three things that this this problem has in it it has frequency wavelength and velocity and the equation that includes all three of these frequency wavelength and velocity is this equation velocity equals frequency times wavelength so if you look at the problem we're given the wavelength right there we're also given the velocity right here and we're asked to find the frequency so what we're going to do here is we have to rearrange this equation we have to isolate F the frequency to solve the problem so to isolate F the frequency we do this algebraically we're going to divide wavelength out of this side and we can divide the wavelength out of this side over here well that factors out so the new equation is frequency equals velocity divided by wavelength like this frequency equals velocity divided by wavelength now we can just plug the numbers and units into the problem we have a velocity of 336 meters per second and that's going to be divided by the wavelength and the wavelength here is 0 0.80 meters and now when we divide that out we get 
420 and the unit is going to be the meters factors out seconds which is Hertz so 420 Hertz that's our answer 420 Hertz I don't know about you but I love wave problems so here's our next problem what is the wavelength of a wave that has a frequency of 620 Hertz so that's F the frequency we're given that and a velocity of 340 meters per second looks like a sound wave 340 meters per second that's approximately the speed of sound so we're given the velocity V and we're looking for the wavelength lambda so ultimately ultimately we need an equation that says lambda equals something so we're gonna start out with the equation that includes velocity frequency and wavelength which is this equation velocity equals frequency times wavelength the velocity of any wave is equal to its frequency times its wavelength so our, our procedure now is to isolate lambda because that's what we're looking for we're gonna isolate lambda so we're going to divide frequency out of this side of the equation which means we have to do the same thing over here and that frequency factors out so our new equation says wavelength lambda equals velocity divided by frequency so we'll set that up down here wavelength is equal to velocity over frequency velocity over frequency now it's simply a matter of plugging in the numbers and units canceling as needed and coming up with our answer so here we have the velocity 340 meters per second we're going to divide that by 620 Hertz that's the frequency and when we divide 340 by 620 we get 0.55 that's two significant digits by the way and that's going to give us let's see what what do we put for a unit well remember that this Hertz is really 1 over s so the second is going to factor out and it's going to leave meters and meters comes over here as our unit so the unit in the answer is meters there's our answer 0.55 meters